And hello everybody and welcome back to another Jurassic Park video. Don't worry about the clutter in the background. I've been cleaning and I haven't put the, the drinks away in the mini fridge and my desk or the coffee table's a mess. We're just going to pretend that's not the case. Today we're here to take a look at two game trailers for upcoming content for Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World. Um, a little bit of backstory. For the last 20 some odd years, we've been relying on E3, Electronics Expo, to bring us the latest in gaming news, game trailers, and things like that. For me, as a kid in the 80s and 90s, video games just hit the shelf. I had no way of knowing that they were uh, being made. I had no idea they were in production. Um, my first kind of glimpse behind the scenes was Nintendo Power in the 90s. That gave me an inside look into what Nintendo was releasing and developing. Then it was PC Gamer Magazine. Uh, my friend Tyler, his brothers, had hooked him up with a subscription for those. And every time I'd go over to his house, I'd thumb through and see what's going on in, in those respective fields. But then E3, you know, with the advent of the internet, became easier and more accessible for everybody to watch. We got to, we never got to attend because it's in California and that's a bit of a trip for a kid. Um, and even as an adult, you know, it's still a, a bit pricey to just hop a plane and, or even hell, drive out there. But now things have shifted and the Game Awards seems to be the place where everybody's getting their news from as far as video game, like the big trailer announcements. Of course, Nintendo started the Nintendo Direct segments. Then Sony and Microsoft followed suit and started doing their own. I've seen some by Sega, seen the Sonic Presents or whatever they're called, Sonic Centrals. So everybody's kind of doing this direct to you through the internet kind of way of releasing information. Um, I had no idea that uh, Limited Run Games was going to do a Jurassic Park collection. That came out of or blue sky um and then at the game awards the other day uh what was the game awards like a week or two ago a jurassic park game just boom there it was out of nowhere we were all surprised and shocked and then i think like a day later they announced this whole minecraft uh crossover with jurassic world and it was wild so the first thing i want to take a look at is the minecraft video we'll go ahead and watch that now um, and we'll discuss that first because we'll probably spend more time in discussion on the other video than we will this one. Also, this is the first Jurassic Park video I'm doing post the new computer and the new graphics card. We are on the 4600, uh, spared no expense. I got the best graphics card I could get. Um, so we should be future proof for a while. All right, let's go over here and take a look at this trailer, shall we? Pretty crazy. Um, I have not done any Minecraft uh, stuff on my channel. I, uh, you know, Minecraft, I remember when Minecraft was first announced. I remember it was a beta for a bit. I remember my good friend Thomas, uh, he opted into the beta and paid for it. So my memories of Minecraft are from when it was brand, brand new, before it became this juggernaut in the gaming industry that it is today 
before it, you know, switched hands over to, who owns it now, Microsoft? No? I honestly don't even know who owns it at this point, but I know it became a huge phenomenon on YouTube and with streaming and with kids and everybody and their mama had success on YouTube with Minecraft. And when I started doing YouTube, you know, six, seven years ago, I thought I want to play the games that I want to play. I don't want to just play stuff that's really popular. I'm not on YouTube to blow up to a million subscribers and then, you know, make a living off of it. I'm here as a hobby. I'm here in, in a corner with a very distinct niche idea of what I want to play. But since I am on a quest to play as much Jurassic Park content as I can for the channel, this means I'm going to have to dip my toe in Minecraft, which I had already been debating. Um, people were kind of, you know, been nudging me towards it for a while, saying it would be a good idea to do. So it is something that I'll probably most likely be doing. Uh, in 2024 because I really want to do this uh, Jurassic Park stuff now for our next trailer this is a big one um, for as long as I can remember everybody and their mama I don't know why I keep saying that phrase everybody's wanted a Jurassic Park game where how do I explain this if you look back at the NES Jurassic Park games, they're very limited by the technology of the time. And I really enjoyed the Sega Genesis Jurassic Park game. Um, but moving forward, most Jurassic Park games were hard to play, shoddily made. It was, it's really an IP that hasn't been done justice in, in the gaming world. Um, the Lost World for PlayStation is very hard. Tyler and I tried to play it. We kept dying at the beginning of it. We were like, screw this. Um, there's uh, Warpath, which was a fun fighting game, but at the end of the day, it didn't have much past. It was basically just a, a Primal Rage clone with, with Jurassic Park. Uh, then there is, um, what's the name of that one Jurassic Park game uh, that everybody, let me go look. I have it and I haven't played it yet. Uh, Trespasser. That's the word that was getting away from me. Um, I have Trespasser and it's terrible, but we're going to play it for a goof, for a laugh. Um, yeah, but it, the Jurassic Park game that came out, uh, it was okay by Telltale. Um, it was kind of uh, one of those quick time event games. And then uh, now there was Jurassic World Aftermath which I thoroughly loved. I played that this, this past year in 2023 for the big 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. I, that was our special this year. Um, so that playlist is on the channel if you want to go and take a look at that. But a lot of those games hold your hand and are played a very specific way. This game looks like you could run around freely and I don't know, it's very video gamey. I, I don't know how to explain it. So you know what, let's just jump right into the trailer. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Really spectacular, spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on Isla Nublar.
Well, that, uh, that looks very intense. I cannot wait. That's going to be great. Um, we know that a lot of the Jurassic Park games over time have lost their canon status. Um, Jurassic Park, the game, isn't canon. I think Aftermath is soft canon, or at least still canon at this particular point in time. The Lego stuff are their own contained universe. They're not really canon. They're kind of goofy and fun. The Lego games are always fun, no matter what series they're doing. I know there's Lego like Star Wars and Indiana Jones and... They've gone all over the place with the Lego universe, and it's very fun. Um, but this blew my mind. You know, it, it's like an extremely, uh, like, it, it's not dumbed down. It, it's extremely graphically demanding. It's not something that's been slapped together and, and just thrown at us to appease us. It looks like whoever made this took the time to do it right. Of course, we won't know until we play it. But damn, the thing looks great. I can't wait. I, that's going to be a day one for us. Uh, there's no release date yet. I don't even know if there's a release window. Um, I'd have to go back and look. I wasn't paying attention. I want to say 2024, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, I, I think we've played everything Jurassic Park that we could play outside of going back and playing the um, NES games, which I did get the collection on both the Switch and Steam. So we have the Game Boy games, the NES games, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis. We have all those. We will be playing those going forward. Um, but I, I wanted to take a moment and look at these trailers with you guys. I want to know what you think. You know, I always, you know, I do like, a, I don't really do like other YouTubers and say, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and follow. And I don't do all that garbage. We don't do that here. But every real once in a while, I'll say something like, let me know in the comments. Nobody ever does, but I still got to do my due diligence and, and spark this conversation. So let me know what you think of these trailers in the comments section. Or you could join the Discord. Um, hit the, the link in the description and that'll take you to the link tree that'll have all the various links. And, and join the Discord server. I, I work very hard on the Discord server and I feel that it gets underused and under utilize and I'd like to see it I'd like to see it do better but I hope you guys are as excited for this as I am uh, it's going to be a real treat for us to have our own like big budget game for a change that looks great um, I've said this time and time again over the years Jurassic support games have been very lacking uh, they've not been spectacularly great but it is what it is uh, I think that's it. I think that's all for the housekeeping. Um, if there's any updates and news, I'll bring it your way. I have more Jurassic Park videos in the pipeline that's coming your way. It's just been really slow because of the holidays and I've been working on so many projects that I feel a little overburdened with, with the workload because, you know, there's IRL stuff and then the YouTube thing is a hobby that's on the side and it's just sometimes they don't mix together well, but, uh, that's going to do it for me for this episode. I will put the links to the videos we watch in the description. Hopefully I don't forget. Sometimes I do. And you can check them out on your own. Uh, they're on the official Jurassic World YouTube channel. You know, if you want to go watch them there. But uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next video. See you, folks.